Hey everybody, Vaughn here with the Vonster Vlog and welcome to day 149 of a year of yoga. <clears throat> we are kind of winging it today because I've lost my planner. It's just, it's somewhere, but um, it's down in the craft room somewhere, but I was helping Ember hunt a mouse and so... We, uh, well, I say we, Randy was asleep, so I was pulling everything away from the walls. If Randy had been awake, he'd have been like, he'd have stopped me from wrecking the craft room. <laughs> but it's just, I just have to put everything like back. So my it's somewhere <clears throat> in there. But until then, we're ringing it. So I'm going to try to, try to stick to what we were doing, but my memory is not perfect. So let's go. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me here today carving some time out for yourself. We're going to start in a hip width stance, feet grounded, pushing into the floor as we lift up and out. Nice dig, dig breath, big breath. <laughs> nice big breath. Inhale, our arms up overhead, reaching, 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 reaching. And down. And this next time, let's come up onto our toes. And down, back up, nice and slow, nice and controlled. Now on this next inhale, let's come up flat-footed and lean back. On our next inhale, let's swan dive forward on the exhale. Into a nice forward fold. Doesn't have to be deep, just a good stretch. Maybe find a balance between rocking forward onto your toes, coming back onto your heels, lifting your toes. Let's give those toes a wiggle. <laughs> now from here, I've decided to completely go off the rails. I'm going to make my feet nice and wide about the width of my mat. And I'm going to come down into a yogic squat. In the garland pose. Actually... I want to be centered up on my mat. You may want to change your position as well. And we can just shift from side to side. Just kind of balancing, getting to, getting to know our feet, making them familiar, making sure our hips are comfortable in this pose. Before, let's raise our arms with a nice erect posture. And our hands together, maintain that integrity and our up in our upper body. As we come into garlic pose. here I'm gonna push up straightening my feet back out I'm actually gonna walk them heel toeing my feet a little bit wider palms down on the ground you could use blocks to bring the ground up to you and I'm shifting my weight like kind of twisting my hips one way and then another to get into the inner thigh area so right now I've shifted my weight over to the left and I'm rotating to get a real nice deep stretch into that right inner thigh Inhale and exhale, shifting to the other side, and then let's walk our hands a little closer to in line with our feet. And we can bend our knees, let's rotate our feet so that they are coming out nice and wide. Hey, pretty kitty. 
and we can come up into a goddess squat, I think is what they're called. I'm actually using my arms to push my thighs open, and I'm going to sink one shoulder in, and the other shoulder. You could do the seated as well, or with a prop under your booty to help support. And then coming up, let's continue deep breathing as we come in and out of these squats. Down nice and deep, keeping those knees protected. Once more. Let's bring our feet back together. Inhale, lifting the left arm. I'm going to bring my right arm up to grab that wrist. And then stretching through the left side body. If it helps, you can bend that knee just a little bit. Bring my left foot up onto its toes, be a little bit deeper. Then you can change feet, still leaning in the same direction, and explore how that changes the movement for you. Come back down, raising our right arm, clasping our right wrist with our left hand. Inhale and exhale, stretch. Changing feet. Let's shift our weight deeper into the right, deeper into the right foot, sending those roots down. Inhale, lifting our left foot, rotating that knee open, placing the foot on the chin. For the path. And find your balance. Maybe, if we're lucky. <laughs> and sometimes it can be helpful to just be on the point of your toe. Then let's go ahead and change sides, shifting over to the left, sending those roots down, feeling up your right foot, coming around. And find your balance. Coming back down to the center of mountain pose. Stilling your breath, stilling your mind. Let's come on back down. Well, yeah, we could do this slightly more gracefully, maybe. We're going to come down to another yogic squat. And then cross our feet and come on down to our booty. And you can sit in easy pose. Just stirring the pot, the cauldron of my mind, getting ready to face the day.
or processing if you're watching this with me in the future uh and it's the end of your day maybe stirring the pot putting in things that you'd like to remember or putting in memories that you'd like to cherish and just stirring it <laughs> in the mornings uh I, this is a new visualization i'm trying out so in the mornings it's uh you know this soup of picking through what dreams i've had through the night and kind of what needs to be done today and so it's almost like a steaming bubbling cauldron that I'm stirring and things will emerge up out of it as opposed to trying to take account of every single thing in the cauldron all at once I'm just recognizing the things as they rise up out of it While we breathe and let the thoughts come and go, we can stretch into our mat. Bringing our right ear over our right shoulder, we can look down towards the ground. And exhale, looking up towards the sky, but we're still tilted over. that on the other side. Inhale, arms up overhead, exhale. Turning with the strength of your body and set your hands wherever they let, wherever they come to. So we don't want to be wrenching ourselves around with our hands. We want to be doing that with gentle, supported strength from our core. Inhale, lifting our arms back up as we turn. And exhale the other direction. back to center we can do a couple of very undulous cat cows exhaling as we scoop through i'm holding on to my knees here for support but really opening the through my back pulling that navel in towards my spine and then scoop through to the front <clears throat> as we're scooped through to the back, we can actually kind of squeeze over to one side and then the other. When we come to the front, we can squeeze over to one side and the other. <clears throat> All righty, y'all. Please feel free to continue stretching, doing whatever your body calls for. But I'm going to go get some coffee <laughs> and start my day. Try to kick this thing into gear. Thank you all so, so much for joining me here today. Let me know how you're doing down in the comments. And I will see you all tomorrow for another day in a year of yoga. So until then, you guys, keep on keeping on. Bye. <laughs>